To make this LCIF challenge more meaningful, I would be launching a complementary series alongside with it. It's called PSN Feature, where we would give a spotlight to those deserving food businesses that started during the quarantine. Every week, I will be ordering delicious, carb-rich foods from them for the duration of this challenge. I hope you know where I'm going with this, but as you all know, I am allowed to have a cheat day if and only if I can achieve my end of week weight goals. If I do, then I can enjoy these foods without any restrictions. Otherwise, I'll have the rest of my household review the food for me. I came up with this to support home-based businesses so that our economy could continue with little to no physical contact. Two things before we start. One, I should say that I'm taking this in conjunction with the push-up challenge and the plank challenge. Therefore, the results I will be getting may not be similar to what you will get should you decide to try this out for yourself. And two, I actually invested in a weighing scale with a BMI indicator, so I'll have a visual cue of where I'm at. And if you would remember, a few days ago, I released a prologue wherein I weighed 74 kilograms, and because of the other challenges that I am taking with the LCIF challenge, I actually lost a kilogram already. So for this week, my goal is to maintain my weight. Also, in that same prologue video, I had a piece of paper where I broke down the rest of 2020 and set up monthly goals. I'll do something similar for this video and in the videos to come wherein I would break these monthly goals down further into weekly goals to keep my expectations realistic, of course. So my goal will either be to lose weight or maintain my weight. For this week, I plan to maintain my weight and of course these figures would still reflect the research that I've done earlier in the prologue and the link will be in the description. Oh, and I almost forgot. Part of an LCIF diet involves setting up a fasting time and a feasting time. There's a lot of variations to it but the most common is the 8 by 16 meaning for 8 hours you feast and for 16 hours you fast. Throughout years of trial and error, I've come to figure out that for me, eating one time big time works the best. Meaning, as soon as I wake up before I start the day, I eat a very large meal and that's all that I will be having. It could be the same for you, could be different, but for me, this is what's working. So meaning, if after that meal, I eat anything else, that's already considered cheating or snacking. You can never go wrong with consulting your dietitian before engaging into any of this, but as a quick tip, if you're experiencing headaches in between your fasting and feasting schedules, then that's a telltale sign that you've chosen wrong. You are now looking at my food for the entire week. I have never seen a shopping cart that's so colorful yet so lonely at the same time. It looks so different with all the sugary nasty stuff that I usually buy. <sighs> Since you already saw my shopping cart earlier, I don't see the point of showing what I eat every day. But I'll make a few exceptions, including uh, tonight, because this is the first day. So this is what my meal looks like. And I immediately anticipated that on an LCIF diet, since the carbs will be um, reduced to almost none, then my protein intake would most likely increase as well as the other sources of uh, nutrients. I love meat, so I definitely my protein intake will have a spike. And what I'm having for today, or tonight rather, is um, this big um, cup of yogurt. And this is a yellow watermelon, which someone already started eating. I'll just eat the rest. And this is tuna omelette. So if you remember, I had a canned tuna earlier. Oh, this is how an entire can, and I just put in two pieces of egg and fried it in olive oil. The liquid part is the oil from the tuna. I would have to consume that because the fat would be another substitute for the carbohydrates. Mm-hmm. So that's basically it. And obviously, this video will be ridiculously long if I do this every single day. The only time that I will show you what I'm eating is if there are any major changes or if, say, for example, I tried out a fancy recipe, something like that. But there it is. This is happening. LCIF, day one. 
So here we are, folks. I'm officially done with my first LCIF meal ever. Thoughts? I still cannot believe that this little food, little because I'm used to eating more and with a lot more rice and sweets. I'm, I'm sur Anyway, I'm surprised that this amount of food made me this full. So, um, I still have my fingers crossed, but so far, this is unbelievable. If you would remember, my goal for this week was just to maintain my... Uh-oh. Oh my god. I think I did something wrong. It appears that the weight that I'm supposed to lose in a month, I lost in a week. That can't be good. And looking back, I noticed that exercise was particularly difficult this week and that my energy levels kind of decreased. So, God, I think I know what it is. So I think I severely underestimated the amount of food I need to replace the amount of carbohydrates that I wasn't allowed to eat. Yeah, that's probably it. Plans. Okay, so today is grocery day. I'll be going to the grocery store in a few hours and I would buy more food and I would not ignore my body when it tells me that it's hungry. We can start with that. So I'll be getting the same food items like I did last week, only in greater quantities. And ultimately, I ended up with two very heavy grocery bags full of food which I surely hope would be enough. All right, this is the start of another week. What I did differently this week is since I've lost so much weight last week, I had two cheat days. So the two days in the weekend, I ate whatever I want, whenever I want. That should give me enough um, safety nets. And now, this is what my meal would look like for this week. So my typical meal in a day is this whole liter of milk. My, um, sorry for the shakiness. The fruit. Today I'm having dragon fruit. And then a can of tuna. And then this is two um, sunny side up eggs that I've fried in olive oil. And I'm gonna have some ketchup with it and some soup. So that's how my typical meal would look like. Uh, so there, I am already done. I can't eat another bite of anything. Okay, so I understand that my meal for this week isn't so different from last week. But I would like to repeat that I had two cheat days as a carb refeed. So I'll have a safety net of carbs for this week since I can't keep losing weight at that rate and what's more my exercise routines will be much more rigorous this week because the push-up challenge month two starts there you are now looking at my weakness this is pork sinigang which is a filipino dish a tamarind soup basically and this got cooked at a time where i'm not supposed to eat anything and I'm not about to resist. So I guess what I'm getting at is go ahead and snack, but make sure that it's still low carb. So this is just the soup, the meat, and the veggies. Now for the moment of truth. At most, I would just want to keep my weight. And apparently, I'm successful in doing so. Using my weight as the sole basis for this statement, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Yeah, might be too early to say, sure. But I like to believe that my relationship with food is improving. Like before, I thought that an LCIF diet would strictly confine you to fruits and vegetables. But it turns out that you actually have a lot of alternatives to unhealthy carbohydrates. So you have seeds, beans, nuts, healthy oils like olive, unflavored dairy products like milk and yogurt, and of course, meat. You're now looking at my first meal for week three. So as you can see, I'm not really making a lot of changes 
especially when I find a working system for me, I do introduce variety uh, wherever I can. So I'll have milk and a can of tuna, some fruit. I found some sliced dragon fruit. This is a broccoli stir fried with some eggs and uh, cauliflower and some peanuts. So go. I'm done with eating and as usual, my tummy is filled to the brim. I find that the advantage of having this setup, like only one very big meal a day, is that you can save yourself a lot of time planning for meals because as it is, I already have a lot of things on my plate aside from this LCIF challenge and I cannot be bothered with planning three meals a day. So I just thought you should know. I gained a kilogram, which is technically okay for my goal this week, but obviously I can't continue like this. I do admit that I got too comfortable with snacking, but at the same time, I also learned to keep an open mind, especially now that I'm just starting out. As an example, my setup only allows one meal a day which would typically work fine until the days that I have to exercise, which is four days a week. Naturally, I would be very hungry after each workout, and if I would not listen to my body, then the week one incident would happen again, and I might end up into a skeleton. Final week. Here we go. So again, my meal would typically look like this. So I have milk. This is pirinyahan. A Filipino dish which is like chicken with coconut milk and pineapples and this is grapes two eggs some peanuts and some ketchup for the fried eggs and those are fried in olive oil so I pretty much finished almost everything I just have some peanuts left and uh, these grapes so uh, honestly I cannot eat another bite and as you can see not a lot of changes were made from this meal uh, in comparison to the last week's meal. And my grocery um, items is just the same with last week's. For the wrap up of this week, I would also show you my typical grocery list so you could get an idea of the rest of my meal for the week. How about that? The final week presented unique challenges. I know that I snacked more than I should, but I never expected to lose everything in week one and gain everything back by week four. Okay, here's what happened. The last week was a long weekend and I spent it with my family. And Filipino culture involves celebrating special occasions with food. As you may have guessed, none of them are low carb. I'll discuss more of this in a bit. For now, let's have the takeaways for the week. First one is the obvious one. Unhealthy snacking is tricky to overcome, to say the least. It should be faced head on early in your journey. And I'm just happy, I guess, that this happened to me this early in my journey. The second one is exercise. If I did not have that in place, I'm certain that I would be in a worse position right now. Before I give my final thoughts, here is a list of my typical grocery items in a week as promised. As you can see, I stuck with whole foods. So we start with meat. This is just chicken thighs, pork, ground beef, and fish. Some eggs, as usual. And then some leafy greens. Usually it's cabbages and uh, water spinach. And then the superfoods, cauliflower and broccoli. And then peanuts, I stick with flavored ones. Oils, I still have in the fridge so I don't purchase as much. Fruit, I stick with fleshy ones like watermelon, apple, strawberries, and grapes. And unsweetened dairy like milk and yogurt. And here is a side-by-side -side comparison of what I look like at the beginning of this challenge and at the end of it. I may be the same weight, but I'm definitely not the same person. Now for the elephant in the room. Why did I mess up on my last week while I was doing so well three weeks earlier? 
If you've been following me for a while, you would know that I work in the call center industry. And what I'm about to do to myself, I typically do to my agents whenever I coach them to figure out what is causing a behavior. This is called root cause analysis. The goal is to rationalize why a behavior is occurring in the first place. If you don't know what to do, it's a knowledge issue. If you know what to do but don't know how to do it, it's a skill issue. If you know what to do, you know how to do it, but something or someone is preventing you from doing it, it's an environment issue. And finally, if you know what to do, you know how to do it, there is nothing or no one stopping you from doing it, but you still chose not to do it, it's a motivation issue. Now back to my case. It can't be a knowledge issue because a month ago, I released a video where I researched about this topic. I also don't think this is a skill issue because as you have seen, I was doing great for the first three weeks and I just terribly messed up on my last week. Environment. I understand that there were a lot of temptations during my last week, but it's not like my family were telling me to cheat on my diet or deliberately sabotaging my journey. And by the process of elimination, we are left with a very bitter pill to swallow, which is a motivation issue. I thought long and hard before filming this part of the video, and I asked myself, am I demotivated? After a long, life-changing shower, I finally said yes. This is about to get deep, so brace yourselves. To be very honest, I got demotivated because my YouTube channel wasn't growing as fast as I wanted to. I really, really want to monetize my channel within the first 12 months of its existence. But at this rate, it's just a faraway dream that I'll never achieve. But why do I want this to happen so badly? Well, it's because I want to have an additional source of income. Why? Because this pandemic is putting my job security and financial stability at risk. And most importantly, I want my family to have a comfortable life during these trying times. It seems that juggling my responsibilities as a full-time curriculum developer and a blossoming YouTuber has made me lose sight of this very important source of motivation. And it doesn't help that my love language is physical touch and words of affirmation. Maybe that's why I lost it. I haven't seen them in the longest time, and when I finally did, I just ate whatever food they offered, low-carb or not. I didn't care about anything else including this diet. Yeah, that's probably it. It makes so much sense now. Now that I know why this is happening, it's time to commit to an action plan. I'll release a separate video detailing what it is, but for now, it's decided that month two will be my redemption arc. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. And if you're interested in seeing more content like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you're always updated whenever I upload new content. Thanks for watching and have a great day.